Hello everyone, this is your tutor, Blanca Rangel. I'm going to help you solve problem 4.47 of Nightbook. So they're asking us to derive an expression for the projectile motion and maximum height, and they give us initial velocity and an angle. So our first step is to make a drawing. As always, it's so going to have a going to have this speed, initial velocity. This is going to be the horizontal angle. This is h max. Okay. So we're going to have an initial velocity in the y direction and an initial velocity in the x direction. Okay, we're going to start at the ground and at the highest point. Mm -hmm, and we have gravity pointing down. So we once we have a drawing, this is going to be the path. Once we have a drawing, we're going to identify everything that's been given to us. So we are going to have initial position, final position, initial velocity, final velocity, acceleration, time. Initial position, we say it's going to be zero. Zero meters. Final position is equal to H. And we're looking for H. Initial velocity in the Y equals. We have to find that out. We have an angle, we have initial velocity, we can use or Sokatoa. Since it's a right triangle, this is a 90 degree angle from each other. So, sine of the angle equals opposite over hypotenuse. So here, I have the hypotenuse, that's initial velocity, and I'm looking for the opposite side, the opposite side of the angle. So sine of the angle equals initial velocity in the Y over initial velocity. So initial velocity, sine of the angle equals initial velocity in the Y. So BO, sine of theta. Final velocity at the highest point is zero. Gravity is negative gravity. And time, we have no idea. They didn't give us a time. So given, unknown is we're looking for H and we don't have time. Then here we do our kinematic equations. Can I write all of my kinematic equations? Initial final velocity equals initial velocity plus acceleration time. Then we're going to have final velocity, final position equals initial position plus initial velocity time plus one half acceleration time square. Remember, we're talking everything in the y axis. OK, then we have final velocity square equals initial velocity square plus two acceleration changing y. OK, so let's go one by one and see which one is going to help us solve our problem. So we have final velocity, have initial velocity, we have gravity, and we'll have time. So that's one equation we can use to solve for time. But remember, our question is asking us to find height. So let's go to the next one. We're looking for height. We have initial, initial. We don't have time. We have gravity, but we don't have time. So we can use, we cannot use this one this time. We have two unknowns unless we try to do a kinematic equation. So we can do, we can follow two steps. We can do these two together, or we can solve for this one, the last one. We have initial, we have final, we have initial, we have gravity. We are only missing for the height. So let's use this one. Um, it will be easier for us to use. Then let's do our substitution. So I'm looking for final velocity square equals initial velocity 
square everything in the y plus two acceleration in the y changing y mm -hmm. so i'm gonna solve this is zero so i can get rid of it i'm gonna solve for y so i have initial velocity adding it's gonna pass subtracting so negative initial velocity in the y square equals two acceleration changing y. So I have two acceleration multiplying, it's gonna pass to division. So changing y equals minus initial velocity in the y square over two acceleration. So this is gonna erase this. So we have y final minus y initial equals minus b o y square over 2a. This cancels. y final equals minus b o y square over 2a. So here, I like to what I like to do is I like to solve everything algebraically and then plug in our values. So let's plug in our values. We have or values of initial velocity, gravity, and position. So we have H equals negative B O Y. So B O sine of theta square over negative two gravity. Negatives cancel with each other. So H solution. So H equals two. Initial velocity square sine sine square over two gravity. And this is the equation that we found for. Now for the second part of this problem, they're gonna ask, they're gonna give us the initial velocity. And we have to calculate the height travel if it hits for the angles 30, 45, and 60 degrees. So I'm gonna copy this, go down a little bit. There you go, paste it. Okay. So now that was part A. For part B, they already gave us the values. So we're technically using the same equation that we found over here. H max equals B O square sine two theta over two G. So we're gonna find the height. This is H. We're gonna have the height at 30 degrees. That will be 30, 30.6 square sine square 30 over 2 times 9.81. We're going to do the same with height at 45 degrees. That would be 30, 30.33.6 30, square sine to 45 over 2, 9.81, and h at 60 degrees, it's 33.6 square, sine square 45 over 2 times 9.81. So let's do that. Just plug this in our calculator, have 33.6 square. Okay. We're going to plug in this in our calculator. Okay. So we have 33.6 square times sine 30 over 2 times 9.81. Okay. It's going to give us 
going to give us around 99.8 meters. And we do the same over here. 33.6 squared times sine squared 0 0.5 to 45 degrees over 9.81 times 2. Okay. So we have 115.2. Around. Okay. And the same for 60 degrees, 33.6 square times sine, 45 degrees square over 2 times 9.81. We have 43.2 meters. Okay. So that's it for today. Um, if you have more questions, feel free to contact me or the professor. Thank you.